Okay, here we go. Just um, just finished that uh, pass there. Get that out of the way. Um, cool down. So we've got it, these mostly clean. Um, problem is, of course. Oh, there we go. It's come out all right. We have to make sure that that's uh, that's nice and clean in that corner. You can't see a lot. Um, before we put it back, now I've actually done the wrong one there. That's the one that I uh, didn't get all the way, so I don't really want to measure that one. So we'll, um, we'll put that back. What I might have to do is rather than trying to put it back um, exactly tight, is just leave the tiniest gap. Um, just make sure that's nice and clean. So if there is any, um, there's any shavings in there, They're not going to affect us, so we'll come back over to here. If you can see, uh, I'm doing one from this side here. Um, so I'll have a look at it. Get rid of all our muck. Uh, it's everywhere, it always is. One of the joys of a grinder, one of the joys of coolant. See, for those who don't have coolant, they would know that their grinder sprays dust all over their workshop. Um, having the coolant means you don't get that dust all over the workshop. You end up with this nice slurry. Anyway, so we'll just throw a mick on this. Um, I've zeroed my, um, my down feed there. So at the moment, this measures 500 down 2 tenths, 500.0.5002. No, 0.5002. Check it again. Depends how you hold your tongue sometimes. Obviously, uh, when you're working to these um, fine tolerances, if you hold the block for too long and get it warm, um, you can easily tell which side it was that was down. It's, um, it's scratched. That one was up. Not that it really matters, but, um, you know, then we we'll just try and make sure that's nice and clean and we won't um, we won't push it all the way back into the corner. Right, lock them back now. Now with these blocks I'm gonna do these are um, cut from some from some brass bar, brass sort of flat. Um, they were pretty scungy so I cleaned them up on the linisher. But I don't know how, um, how thick they are. They're roughly an eighth, but you know, I can't say for sure. So what I'm going to do is clamp eight of them together and just see what we've got here. This was a trick that um, we used to use when thicknessing timber when I was a cabinet maker. Um, so you can read any errors on a tape measure a lot easier. If you're, uh, anyway, so we're going to mix these up. My old, uh, more and right mix. Alright, so that's reading 527,000. You see, when it comes to putting them together, they're going to be clamped, so. Yeah, 526 thou. Yes, it varies a little bit. Nice. 527. We call it 527. Okay. Trusty calculator, my brain's not that good. So, 0.527 divided by 8. Mm -hmm. We have 0.527, sorry, 1 inch and 27 thou, don't mind me, so 1 inch and 1.027 divided by 8 equals, that's a bit better, so they're roughly 128.3 thou each, and that means that I have to grind my blocks under size, because my, my chuck is exactly 1 eighth spaces and half inch poles, so I've got 5 eighths for the pair. So 
So what I need to do is that number, 1283, call it 1284. We go 625,000 for the overall thickness of our pole and spacer. We take off 120.4. So we need to wind up with our blocks measuring 497.6 there. Now that doesn't allow for any thickness for the um, the solder. And it says on the tub, um, no, this is just off eBay, nothing special about it. Got focus there. Um, it's a 500 gram tub, it was about $30, $30 I think. Um, it's 63% lead. Um, so 60, 40, 40, 10, 9.5% flux. Um, it has an expiry date, which oddly enough is long past gone. I didn't notice that. 13th to the 10th, 10. No matter, uh, no matter which um, which way you look at that, whether that's uh, the Australian um, Australian way of doing a date or the American way, um, it's out of date. Anyway, it says it's 20 to 45 microns thick. Presumably that's when hard, when 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 solid. So I'm going to call it a thou. Um, 20 microns is 0.02 per millimetre. A thou is 0.025. I'm going I'm to call it a thou. Over 12, 12 blocks, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Um, so we need to take an extra thou off our 4976. So we're aiming for 4.96.6. So. Um, you know, we knew we were 500,000 and two tenths. So we've got to take off 3.6 thou off that. And it um, should be right. We can check again. Always like to double check these things before we go grinding steel off. It's a bit hard to put it back on. One inch, 27 thou. One inch, 27 thou, divide that by eight, because I stuffed up. I should have written it down. One, two, eight, three, so one, two, eight, four. So, 0.625 minus 0.1284, cause 4996, not 4997, less our thou for the, uh, the solder is 495.6. So really, I've got to take 4.6 thou off, not, not 3.6. So 4.6 thou to grind off these. So um, I can go ahead and grind 4.6 thou off these. Um, that is easy if I remember the uh, dimension here, right? I will just check that while I've got it on there. Just double check that. I remember the dimension of this rod that was half an inch and a couple of tenths. Yep, half an inch and a couple of tenths, so that's correct. I need to take off 4.6 thou. Right. I'll do that and um, I'll be back. Um, we're just sparking out over there but um, the grinder's uh, gotten too excited and wet itself. Um, it has a, uh, a separate 100 litre cooling tank and um, unusually when this first happened I couldn't work out why. Um, this is the third time it's happened. If the coolant level gets too low because um, the, the pump sits quite high in the tank, the coolant level gets too low and it starts um, pulling air into the pump. It splashes corn up on the sides of the, um, the container. It's in and um, it ends up running down the sides and um, well, it splashes onto the, onto, the, onto the lid of the corn tank and runs down the sides and there's a lip there because it runs past the lip. And um, first thing I know about it is Cuddle up my feet. Anyway, we'll just spark these out. Um, 
So, before I go turning the grinder off, I'm just going to check one. Alright, so, the usual deal. Have a bit of a clean. Get rid of this so you can see. Makes it easier for me to see too. This grinder is actually quite high. Service finish, finish isn't great. Um, this poor wheel has just taken a fair bit off there, so what we do with the dress anyway. So we were aiming for oh my calculator's turned off. We we're aiming for um, 495.6, and 495 and 6 tenths. So um, you know, again, we'll just mix this up. So we obviously had some wheel degradation because even though I moved that down 4.6 there, instead of having 495.6, we've got 496.4. Yeah, 496.4. So we've got another go, another eight tenths to bring that down. I'll check another one. Um, I actually flipped this one over, so I ground the both sides of the one that was. Um, halfway through so it, uh, I'll actually just check that one make sure I'm not going crazy but that's why I didn't turn the grinder off it's also a very good idea if you've got coolant um, not to turn your grinder off straight away anyway let it spin for a couple of minutes and flee any coolant that may be caught in the wheel still out so that um, it doesn't all settle down the bottom when you next turn your grinder on um, you know, if, it, if it's not that long a time or it'll settle with the very fine metal shavings in there, um, it'll send your wheel out of balance, apparently. So, the best thing to do is just to turn your coolant off first, let it run for a couple of minutes. Yep. 496 point, I'm going to call that one three. So, you know, we've got a tenth tenth difference yeah, 0.4 again when you're working in tenths it depends so much on how you hold your tongue and that mick really isn't certainly isn't the best mick I own most of my better micks are metric um, but since the uh, poles on this chuck are imperial I'm actually working in imperial and um, we'll take another seven tenths off um, I'm really glad I didn't um, turn the machine off. Right, so we'll go four tenths to start with. So that shows you um, in five foul we had um, a seven tenths of a foul of wheel degradation. This is a, um, a 46 grit um, 38A, I believe. Yes, 38A. 46 grit. Um, I couldn't tell you the hardness off the top of my head. Maybe a K. Um, yeah. It's, um, you've always got to watch that wheel degradation. It's the one thing when you're grinding large surfaces that um, can really screw you up. And actually here, when I've moved that block from the end and put it back, it's not in the same spot because I'm not grinding as much off it. There might have been something underneath it. I'm not grinding as much off it as I am with the rest of the block, so that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, right, so that's four. Is that it? Two and a bit. But, um, I've got some graduations in um, four one hundredths of a foul on this machine um, with a uh, it's called a micro tip adjustment. It's a push button adjustment. Um, there's a bit, another video of the, of the mechanism. I think I've done. Um, so I have the advantage of being able to down feed really finely. And oh yeah.
All right, so do the same thing again. We'll just check it just before we turn it off. Turn the coolant off. I'm pretty sure that I, that should be pretty right now. I think we took that in small enough steps. Just remember, cleanliness, cleanliness. You're working with such fine tolerances. 4.95. Try it somewhere else. Reading 4.95 8 7 7 4.957. So it did only take 7 tenths off in the end, not not the 8. And it depended on where I held my tongue as to which measurement I should have taken off. So I'm happy enough with that. Um, that wheel will have run its moisture out now, I reckon. And it's clean enough. We'll turn it off. Um, so now we can stack these all together and add the solder and um, solder them all up.